All right, so now I'm going to show you how I shared my uh, virtual classroom into Seesaw for my students to use. Now, after I've done everything, I make sure that I have a shareable link. So go to File and Share. And it says get shareable link, but right now what you need to do is make sure that everybody can see your link. So I'm going to have to go to public, turn it on, make it public on the web so that anybody that has the link can have access to it. It's not limited. So make sure that's on public and then save. Okay. I'm going to click done. I'm going to go into Seesaw already signed in, go to add, assign activity, and then create new activity. So I'm going to give it a title. Wednesday's class. You can put instructions in there, but I'm not going to do that to save time. And I'm going to go to Add Multimedia Instructions or Example. All right, so you could have copied the link, but I'm just going to upload it from Google Drive. Select from Google Drive. And there's my virtual classroom right there. Just double click it. taken a while. All right, here we go. And then there it is. I'm going to click the check. And then save it. Don't forget your instructions. Again, I'm going to just skip that for now. And then here's my activity. So I'm going to assign it to my sample student just to make sure that it's working. So I'm select, assign it to my sample student. All right. So now I'm going to go back to my class. And there's my activity. So what they're going to do, the students, they're going to see it like this. They're going to click on the picture. And I tell my students to go right here to view original. And then here's our class. So if they go right here, they will see my video that I upload. And I did a video on that earlier. And you just click it and listen to it. Hey guys, it's Miss Burns. I just wanted to check in on you guys to see how you're doing. Um, I hope that you. All right, so once they're finished listening to that, they can just go back to the classroom. And I also have some other things in here linked. Um, I have a storybook for Mother's Day right here. that they can listen to. Welcome to Beefy Storytime. Do you want to read this book with me? Don't. All right, and once they're finished listening to that book, they just go back. And then um, the uh, alphabet chart, I have ABC song that they can listen to. There it is. All right, and again, once whenever they're finishing activity, they just go back. And I have other things in here that's linked to YouTube or different uh, kid-friendly websites. And again, I did a video on that. And that's about it. Um, I hope this video was helpful. Um, please let me know in the comments if you have any questions or anything. And thank you for watching.